Hello Virgos, this is AD with Chaos Tarot and I'm doing a bonus reading guys. Thank you so much for your continued support. Um, I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. I had some free time so I was like, let me give it to my Virgos, all right? So without any further ado, let's get into your reading. Please do not forget to check out that description box below for information on how to book a personal reading with me. I've had so many Virgo personal readings and I appreciate you. Shout out to you if you've actually gotten to speak to me. Um, I love it so, so, so much. I enjoy meeting you and so thank you. And I hope to meet more of you guys. So please check out the description the description box below and information on how to book a personal live reading with me. Okay? And follow me on Instagram. <laughs> All right. Now let's get into it. So this isn't, I'm not petitioning any questions. I'm not wondering. I just want to see what is going on. So this is going to be very general. All right. So the Knight of Pentacles, Virgos, this is moving towards your goal in your own effective way. All right. Earth, Pinnacle energy. This is your energy here. So I see you slowly but surely getting to the place that you want to be in. Yeah. Which is a place of balance <laughs> like anyone else, which is a place of balance and security. Um, and in a situation of, I can never say this word correctly, reciprocity, Recip where it's reciprocated. <laughs> <laughs> where it's equal okay <laughs> somebody gives somebody takes and then that person gives and another person takes and it does that okay that is what i'm saying and it seems like you've been strategizing how to actually get that particularly in a financial um situation but i think it really supersedes in all aspects of your life how do you clearly draw boundaries okay um with the five of swords here there certainly could have been miscommunications that have happened right or you're waiting for some sort of communication you could have had a falling out with somebody you're waiting to hear back from them um i do see this person coming back with an apology towards you with the hermit energy um so that is um so <laughs> yeah that's your energy there this person has been trying to figure out exactly how to come back I, and i'm kind of getting that this energy is like yeah well from the it's very deep but yeah it's very much from 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 your past um, but it's somebody that you've always had energetic exchanges with Virgos. It's so interesting. So many people are coming back this week specifically. Like it, it's really, uh, it's really odd. <laughs> Nothing's odd in this world, but it's funny because all the, I, I've done so many readings where it's just like, somebody's coming back, but this isn't, this is a person that it's been in and out with, right? But now they're coming back with like a certain proposal. They want to reconnect with you they miss your energy but this is somebody where the the relationship as odd as it sound this this relationship really operates in the shadows okay so a lot of it happens i want to say at night but it could have been meeting up at night a lot of it is just in shadow and secret to some to some extent where not everybody knows like this wasn't always the person that you brought and showed off to your entire family like this is somebody that you always thought was cool but like you never explored the relationship in that way or there was some limits to your relationship previously where like they were in another relationship it was a third party situation and it just had to be done in the shadows at night you know but but because the connection was so strong and so deep, it's always lingered. I'm getting a lingering feeling from this relationship. Yeah, the hanged man, it's always there. It's always present in limbo, sometimes not even moving, but it's just energetically like you can feel it, right? And that's what I was going to say. And, and, and the funny thing about the timing of all this, Virgo, is the timing of all of it <laughs> right it's just like as soon as you're starting to see some sort of footing and grounding towards your relationship and your career i'm at your relationship with your career okay um and just equal give and take learning how to set your own boundaries okay now this this thing that's kind of always been in the back of your in your mind has become more prominent and it's just because you're more settled you're not so worried about your finances anymore so because they're starting to make sense so now your brain has room to roam to this relationship thing you know um and so you're going back and forth with the two of pentacles there yeah to the two of cups <laughs> do i come together with this person person do i not come together with this person um the strength card to the ace of wands because yeah at the end of the day in both fronts, in your work front and in your relationship front, it's just like you've been able to really learn how to love yourself and you are not willing to accept the same things that you accepted before. Five of swords, you're going to say no. You will say no when you would defend yourself and, and your honor um, and you're not going to settle, right? And so that's why this 
monkey wrench in the situation as far as like you finally are together with work now 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 you're thinking of other people you're having like flashes of relationships and you haven't really craved it in that way you know blame it on the weather for some of you <laughs> it is cuddle buddy season <laughs> but it's just like there seems to be a craving of intimacy yeah and a craving <laughs> a craving of intimacy a craving of passion but also long-term stability like you want you want to have fun in the next relationship that you're in you want to go and explore and especially because you have the finances and the resources at this point in time it's like you're all open to going on adventures you want somebody who's able to go right but you want them to also be stable and and have their head have their feet on the ground you know and be established you know you want something a little bit more established the way that you've established yourself but there is a desire for intimacy there is a desire for passion and just long-term stability um in a way that you haven't before right and that's because again i think that your success in your work for a lot of you guys have opened you up to <laughs> being opened up if you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so I just see this new beginning coming in for your work and for your love life and just re again. Yeah. Re falling in love with your divine feminine and just having somebody cherish it. And if you're already in a committed relationship, it's catching a second wind because you don't have the same burdens and the same strains of the financial, excuse me, of what are we doing financially? I just feel like there's just been a weight lifted off of your shoulders. And so now you're able to step into your divine feminine again, which is all about receiving and, and, and being loved and nurturing and being nurtured all of this together and so finally there's just again there's an underlying uh feeling of equality whoops yeah the moon card so dealing with the subconscious what is it that we want where do we want to go the moon card and the chariot could be connecting with a cancer for some of you guys you could have a, con a cancer coming back to make some sort of apology yeah look at all this the queen of cups came out again too cancer pisces energy too um definitely a water sign <laughs> definitely a water sign definitely somebody emotional but again that tie that that subconscious desire and yearning is mutual right virgo i guess that's the i guess that that's the freeing part it's mutual and this other party the other person in the situation also wants some sort of stability wants some sort of long-term um stability yeah <laughs> oh my goodness Woo -wee. so many cards oh wow oh wow oh wow yeah it's just reiterating i can't i can't express enough like <laughs> somebody who feels very sorry about what happened in the past they want to come back around and take steps towards you they want to make a clear and concise offer um they want to communicate with that with you they want a second chance they know what they did in the past they know that they were toxic but again i just heard the pixies were chain eh, 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 we're chain eh, eh. must be the devil between us quite literally you know um and this situation has played the the devil but what i'm hearing is <laughs> And this isn't a not, this isn't a consensual way, guys. Please do not blast me in the comments. But I'm hearing it's like, you know you want it. Like, you know you want it. Whatever the it is, you can define for yourself. But you want it, okay? It's just very inconvenient right now because all of those feelings of recommitment or falling in love again or opening yourself up or allowing somebody in in that way. It's just not, it's, 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 who wants to knowingly sign on in your brain you're like why would i do that <laughs> the two of swords you're like in my brain i've i've chilled being single i've enjoyed my own company i really love myself i do not want to invite drama i do not want to invite any more burden and any more expectation to myself i just want to cool it but on the other end of that spectrum you want affection you want <laughs> love uh, uh, uh. you want love and affection and so that tiny feeling is kind of slowly but surely eating away at you <laughs> and eroding and yeah and if there is somebody else yeah if there is somebody else in mind again from your past we have the ace of cups coming out here if there is somebody else in your mind from your past that's how this came out and they offer you some sort of commitment it's really just gonna fall in on do you want it or not excuse me Woo. what do you want because there is going to be an option here to commit, all right? And you might be defensive and guarded. 
But I really think that you just want to be wanted. It's nice to be wanted. It's nice. It's nice. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to pull a, a couple more cards. <laughs> yeah, the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. And this to me has just showed this razor sharp focus on your finances, on your money, on profit, um, on your career, getting to that next level. But you've accomplished, I'm hearing like you've accomplished that, you've gotten there, or you're starting to see um, uh, an end game. You're very much at peace with the situation that's happening now, right? And so it's just causing this, it's causing this friction <laughs> between your heart and your mind, you know? Yeah, the page of wands and your passions, <laughs> your heart and your pants. For some of you guys, you're just like kind of in heat. <laughs> and of course, yeah, we have the justice card, the eight of wands and the queen of wands. And that's what I'm saying. Like there's just, you're attracting a lot of people. Could be a Libra for some of you guys. Um, Could be somebody, a lawyer, somebody who works in the legal field with the Libra, with the justice card being there. Somebody that you met in October. If you met this person in October, you exchanged numbers, didn't talk, but now they're like, ah, fast communication. But either way, you're just attracting so much <laughs> from so many different um, angles and directions. And there's like, yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> competition for you. That's so funny from the Divine Masculine. But yeah, you're just giving off this magnificent energy, Virgo, and it's because you're comfortable in where you are now. You made peace with the situation work-wise that you're in. You've just made peace with it. Um, now, whether you're completely happy or not, you know, that's another thing. Like, this might not be your dream job. I remember in my last thing, you might be there for two months, two years or so, but you're okay. You're okay. The money's okay. The Everything is okay. The people are okay. You're willing to do that to get you to the next point. So you're at peace with it. And because of that, you're kind of emitting the scent <laughs> to the opposite, you know, to the masculine. And they just want to come and grow with you and expand with you. And kind of take your mind off of work. The Wheel of Fortune. So things are certainly changing in your favor, Virgo. I love, I love the Nine of Pentacles. Just continue, just continue, <laughs> just continue doing you. And the listen, the proposals will come. But I am sensing very, very strong a water sign who you dealt with in the past coming back, trying to offer some sort of long-term commitment, some sort of stability. Um, And this is a person that, again, you're comfortable with. Yeah, there's been some secret communication or just... You guys have either been spying on one another. There has just been like a, some sort of secret. <laughs> There's just been, you've been in separation and isolation with this person. Like I said, I don't think that you've been in communication with this person. Very much Virgo. Um, at this King of Cups, this King of Cups character, but there's so many different male energies happening here. It doesn't really matter. One of them is going to stick out. One of them is going to be from your past, but there's a whole lot of, a whole lot of options that are coming in for you. But the one that, that causes the most concern, you guys have spied on each other's social media. They've been spying on your social media. Now they're going to reach out to you. They've been trying to gather as much information as they can to come back. And yeah, but I mean, You've been working very hard, Virgo, and I mean that, I, you know, <laughs> I see you. You've been working extremely hard, Virgo, and so it is fun to have fun sometimes, and so, like, enjoy, enjoy this. If it, if it's not creating, like, some major drama, enjoy the attention because you're certainly beautiful, you certainly deserve it, and I do think that it's genuine, you know, if somebody wants to take you out, you know, nothing is wrong with a meal. You hear me? Nothing is wrong with a meal, so just, you know, let this let this wave kind of ride all right and i'm gonna pull from my animal deck before i let you go and yeah thank you so much virgos please don't forget to check out that description box below and pick and book a personal reading with me and yeah follow me on instagram all right i appreciate y'all all right so we have cougar i love that for so for some of you guys this could be a young cat <laughs> Cougar, assertive. In silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed, all right? And that is the that is the scent that you're omitting. And so the people that you're attracting are very much, I don't even think that we got a lot of, we didn't get a whole lot of knights. They're here, but they were paired with stronger, you know, energies. So you're dealing with divine masculine energies with the emperor here. You're only attracting bigger and best even if this was somebody that you dealt with in the past they now have stepped into their divine masculine energy 
excuse me. So they're even more powerful. You're not going backwards. And even if this person is young, they're successful and they're well on their way. They, they have entrepreneurship, their investments, like they stand on their own two feet. You're only dealing with people who stand on their own two feet. Okay. With the queen of wands. And because you know what you want, you're not going to accept anything less Virgo. And that's on period. Okay. So that is what I got for you again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace until next time.